Hello, 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 OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So, so excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn. And today I'm coming at you with a stock pile tour. OMG, so, so excited to do an updated stockpile tour. A ton of you have been asking for it. It was it was a challenge to uh, to get all the product. <laughs> How to order shelves? How oh, MJ? I was looking back through my first stockpile tour, which I will link in the description box if you want to check it out. I think I did it in March and I like I'm blown away by how much my stockpile has grown. It's absolutely wonderful. If you're new and you just found the channel, I'm so excited that you are here. Would you please let me know that you're new and drop hello right down there so that I can welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Let me know if you love watching stockpile tours. I totally do. A couple of good ones that I have recently watched. I'm sure there's just a ton of great ones. But ones that I have recently watched, um, Kristen Mitch, did she change her name to Kristen Saves or something? I don't know. I'll pop her picture up on the screen. She did an awesome stockpile tour. I loved it. Go check that out if you like watching stockpile tours. Uh, Tea Time also has an awesome stockpile tour. I loved her stockpile. So go check that out if you like watching those types of videos. We got the big guy. The big guy in the background snoozing away. He literally was snoring right when I started the video. I don't think he's snoring now, but there's Gus. He just ate his lunch. He's super happy and he's taking his afternoon siesta for any of y'all that like to see Gus. All right, so I won't go into a huge, huge like thing about my story. I did really like dive pretty deep into in my first stockpile tour. Just a little bit about my story and what brought me to couponing if you want to check that out. Again, the link will be in the description box. But basically, I used to coupon years ago and I absolutely loved it. And I stopped couponing for the most ridiculous reason. <laughs> Way back when, when Kroger used to double coupons up to a dollar, we could get all kinds of stuff for free. And they stopped doubling coupons, so I got so mad I stopped couponing. Which, you know, that only hurt me. <laughs> I, I think we've all done that. I was going to say, let me know if you've ever done that, but it didn't, like... We've all done that. Got so mad at something that we stopped doing that activity that maybe we really enjoyed and it only hurts us. Thank goodness I have grown my mindset over the years and I don't think like that any longer. So basically, my story goes like this. I lived as a morbidly obese woman for all of my adult life. When I was in my early 20s, I started gaining weight and reached a point where basically I was 230 pounds and I'm five foot two. I'm super duper short. And uh, I lived my adult life very depressed. I hid from the world because I was very ashamed and I just could never figure out why I couldn't lose weight, why I couldn't figure it out. And about two years ago, I found this awesome system, which I will leave my weight loss video linked in the description box as well if you do want to check that out. And it just truly, truly helped me along with making some changes in my life. But I will pop a picture up on the screen of a before and after. And I ended up losing 70 pounds. It took me about 11 months to do that. So I did it very, very slowly and steadily. And <clears throat> my life changed. And my confidence grew and I felt so much better. And I was running around and playing with my kids and doing things that I always wanted to do. But I struggled with my weight for over 20 years. And then what happened, as I know that this has happened to a lot of people, um, about, uh, oh, I don't know, 15 months ago maybe? I was displaced from my corporate job that I had for 15 years. And obviously looking back, it was truly a blessing in disguise. But when things like that happen to us, it doesn't feel like a blessing at the time. 
and it sent me into a little bit of a depression and I was home all the time then and kind of reverted back to old habits and gained some of the weight that I had lost and got really mad at myself. And then one day I happened upon a couponing video on YouTube. I don't even know who it was. I wish I could give credit, but I don't remember. And I got hooked and I started back couponing with drugstore couponing, which is my absolute favorite. I freaking love couponing at Walgreens and um, CVS. And then I started making videos about couponing. And that is, I ended up losing back the weight that I had gained and just found like a new purpose and a new joy and a new passion. And not only, you know, because of being displaced from my job, being able to save money, couponing really for me was just, it gave me something to look forward to. We all start couponing for a different reason. I think we all want to save money maybe in the beginning is why we start. But for me, it really truly is just a passion that I found. And then to have this platform to be able to share it and help other people save money and find great deals just absolutely fuels my soul and makes me so dang happy. So that's my story. We are going to get into this awesome stockpile tour. Well, I think it's awesome. I'm gonna show you everything I have. Now, I will tell you that um, I coupon for lots of things and I intentionally coupon for things that I want to donate because I do donate often. You don't have to. Some people coupon for just what their family needs. I do not. I coupon for pretty much everything. <laughs> so I have a lot of products that we don't use and we won't use, but I do it intentionally so that I can donate. And if you want to donate, that's fantastic. I absolutely love being able to give back. However, just know that your stockpile is your stockpile and nobody gets to tell you what you should do with it. We work dang hard to build up stockpiles. And so if you don't want to give away one thing, then don't. It is yours and you worked for it. But if you do want to donate, I think that's fantastic as well. All right, let's get into this stockpile tour. If you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We would love to have you as part of this community. All right, if you were here for the first stockpile tour, we're gonna start right here because this is what housed basically my entire personal care stockpile. <laughs> and now this house is only oral care. OMG. <sighs> I got a lot of oral care. <laughs> so basically we've got our supply of Colgate is too deep for toothpaste and then I've got like the random which is the Aquafresh the Arm and Hammer and a couple of the Burt's Bees and then we move down to the uh, mouthwash Colgate mouthwash the next shelf we've got the Listerine and then like some random the Oral-B and the Biotene and then we move down to start off the scope um, stock. We've got, what do we got? Three back. I know it's dark. Sorry, we're in the basement. Three back on each one of those. A little bit more. Um, obviously on the Colgate because they are smaller. And then we go to the Crest Supply. Obviously, I have a much bigger supply of Colgate. <laughs> I think we get way more coupons for Colgate and way more deals, but uh, certainly not running low on any Crest. Funny, I have like two two of these little guys for Crest and two of these little guys for Colgate. <laughs> the rest are tubes and there is the rest of my supply for my Crest. And then um, we got more mouthwash, OMG, the mouthwash, the mouthwash. Oh my gosh. And then I've got a couple of my like teeth whitening kits there from CVS and I have a Crest one there. And then we do have a bottom shelf here, and basically this house is my um, shave gel, men's and women's, 
And then my women's razors. This is my stock of women's razors, non-disposable, of course, just regular women's razors. And then all of my Chic Hydro 8-in-1. Look at how many times I've done that deal <laughs> at CVS when they were giving us all of those $5 coupons and we were getting them basically for dang free. So I have one women's razor refill there of the Intuition and then a whole bunch of the Silk Hydro 3. And then that is my supply of like Venus. I think I have a few more Venus out that I'll show you. Um, but this is what used to house all of my shampoo, all of my conditioner, all of my body wash, all of my oral care, um, most of my razors, all of it was housed in these two shelves here. And now basically this holds just oral care here. OMG! This right here, this would be my very unorganized stock of all of my Depend silhouettes and my poise that are all bagged up and ready to go to donate. So it is not organized and we are in my basement and this back room just has a cement floor. So if you have a basement, you already know that, you know, basements aren't like super great. The other section of my basement does have carpet, but this one has the cement floors. I do have a couple more. Oh, I got the stock. Oh my gosh, the stock and the scope. I'm not running out of scope anytime soon. All right, and then over here, I've got uh, just some of the um, eye solutions. And then we kind of basically start my cleaning supply shelf here, which is grown tremendously from my last stockpile, but still I don't have like a huge stock but it's so much more than what I did have. So I got my Swiffers here, like four back. I've got a couple of the Scrubbing Bubbles starter kits here, a couple of the Pine Sols, a couple of the small liquid palm olives. And then we go down to here, which I am just so dang pleased with this stock because if you caught my last stockpile tour, I had none. I had no Lysol spray. I had no Clorox spray. Um, I think I had a couple of the Fantastics and that was literally, and a couple of Pine Sols. That was literally my cleaning supply um, in my last stockpile tour. So I've really been able to add to that. And this is, this is just like the overflow. Um, still, I don't have like, you know, some people have these huge, massive stockpiles of cleaning supplies, which is so amazing. I'm not there yet. But I feel very good about this. Um, we have, you know, cleaning supplies upstairs, obviously, that we're using. And I've been able to help out some family and give, um, you know, some some of the multi or the all-purpose um, wipes and things like that. Um, I got some Fabulosos here, some Mr. Clean Freak, some Lysol disinfectant sprays. I had none of those before. I think I might have two or three upstairs. And then this is my overflow. And then this is my little stock of um, disinfectant wipes. I don't care what they are. I'll get whatever brand I can find. <laughs> we, I think we have well, like maybe three or four upstairs. And then this is the overflow of that. So feel pretty dang good about having those. We're starting to see those in the store a lot more often now. So I try to pick them up pretty much at least one a week just so we're replenishing. Oh, and I, I got my fancy sponges right there. And then down here, I have a big, like, refill of the Lysol, a couple of Clorox sprays, some Windex back there, running real low on the Dawn Power Wash. I really do like that stuff. Some Glade carpet cleaners. And then my dish soap supply, which is mainly palm olive. One lonely Dawn there. You definitely get more deals on palm olive than anything. I've got a couple of the big three packs. Well, they're not big, but a couple of the three packs. Those were family dollar deals. Some lime away. That's all I have for dang toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> I need to get some more. Uh, a little Mr. Clean back there and a Lemmy Shine. So I think when I did my first um, stockpile tour, I had two Fantastics maybe. One Clorox spray, three canisters of wipes, and that was about all I had. So I'm feeling pretty good 
that this has grown um, even with using cleaning supplies even more now because, you know, everybody's cleaning like crazy now. <laughs> so this is kind of my stock of cleaning supplies. All right, we are going to move outside into the garage so I can show you my laundry supply and my paper supply. All right. So now we are in the garage for my laundry. <laughs> and I am from Michigan. So this is probably all going to have to be moved because if you're familiar with Michigan, then we get very, very cold winters. And it's probably not a great idea for me to be keeping all of this liquid out here when we get freezing and below freezing temperatures. But I will just show you, it's kind of funny now, whenever I have family members come over um, because they come in through the garage. We don't usually use the front door. We just use the garage because it goes right to the kitchen and they see my wall of <laughs> laundry and they're like, what's, what's happening here? Do you have a store here? We get over to the other side of the garage I will try and pop a picture up of my first stockpile tour it's pretty funny to see it's actually awesome to see how far that I have been able to grow this stockpile so I have all of my laundry sorted by basically type but let me just kind of give you and this again this is my garage so we got garage stuff out here and it's not like super clean it's a garage this is the wall. This is the wall of laundry that people see when they are walking into the house. <laughs> so this is what the wall of laundry looks like. OMG, isn't it gorgeous? So I've got all of my snuggle with my dryer sheets and my liquid and my all with my pods and then down here I've got all of my arm and hammer with you know the pods and the scent boosters down here I've got my shelf of purex this is my purex supplies with my crystals up here I've got my big shelf of Purcell I think they're four back is that right yeah four back so that's pretty filled. I think I have two on the ground and one of the one of the discs on the ground. And then we start basically our P and G wall. OMG just recently stacked up on all of these downy dryer sheets. So excited. Behind it, I have my bounce dryer sheets. Hang on. All right, I had my phone plugged in. I had to unplug it so that I could like actually use my hand. But that's my bounce. Uh, supply back there and then I've got all of my scent boosters here with one lonely little bounce wrinkle guard back there so I have eh, a nice little healthy supply a recent recent pickup at uh, CVS helped that and then we move to the downy fabric softener right here that's all my fabric softener and then we move to the Tide Pods are all right here. And then up here, I've started a little stock of the All Free and Clear for my grandson. I think those are four back. And then we've got all of the Tide Liquid. These are the small Tides, the 37 to, I think I have a couple of 50 ounces right here. So these are, yeah, they're all four back. So I feel like I have a nice, Nice, healthy supply. And then over here, I've got all my gain. Those are kind of, that's where I have space for them. I don't even know how many I have. I think I just have four, yeah, four kind of in each row there. And then up here, I've got my big guys. This one is a 50 ounce, but all the rest of these are the 92 ounce or the 100 ounces. And then down here is like what I couldn't fit with the gain. Well, that's that's the gain laundry detergent. This is the gain fabric softener, the gain flings, the gain fireworks, and the gain sheets. And then I had a little bit of leftover tide here. And the big guys of the 
hundred or 92 ounce of the Tide Free and Clear for my daughter so she can wash clothes for my grandson. So here we go, I'll give you one more shot of the laundry. This is the laundry wall. That is what we have. So I gotta move all of this <laughs> into the house so it doesn't get ruined with the freezing weather. All right, shall we move to, let's move to paper next. All right, if you caught my first stockpile tour video, then I this is where I am gonna pop a picture up on the screen. This right here, I think these two shelves right here is actually what housed my laundry stockpile at that point. And I was so tickled that I had enough laundry supplies that fit on two shelves. So you can see how much that has grown. This now houses my paper products. Let me back up for you. So I've got these two shelves here. Here is <laughs> the beautiful wall of paper. I freaking love it. And I just got a couple things today that won't quite fit up there yet. I do have, again, this is a garage. So we have garage things. So I really need that shelf to get cleared out uh, so I can use it. <laughs> On the bottom here, I do have um, some of those big Arm & Hammer that we got um, with the awesome Swagbuck steel and then a couple of the Woolites and then some extra Scott. This uh, shelf here basically has all of my Kleenex products. So you can see that goes, I think, three back. Um, I've got the three packs here and then I've got all of the like single packs. So I shouldn't be pulling stuff out. So there is all of my Kleenex supply there. Feel really great about that supply. Got a couple of the extra cotton L's there. I don't know, about four packs of the Scott down there. Scott is, you know, I think the easiest for us to buy. So I've got a couple of cotton L's back here. And then the rest is all of the Scott. Up here, I've got my Charmin supply with a big Charmin and then I've got these like smaller packs of Charmin and they're two deep. So there's three of each two deep. So I think I have six there. Some more of the Cottonelle, more Cottonelle, the Scott 1000 roll. I have one package of that. That stuff is the worst toilet paper I think I ever did use. I hate that stuff. <laughs> I need to find somebody to give that to. I got two packs. Two packs back here that I'm hiding from my husband of the Babo. <laughs> this is worse than the Babo, in my opinion. I would rather use the Babo, but the Babo is close second. So that is all of my toilet paper. Of course, I've got more over here. I don't even know how many packs I have. The big packs of the Scott here, um, basically on top. After all of the Charmin, this is all paper towel and it goes, you know, like two back and piled on top of each other. I think I might have maybe about 20 packs of paper towel. So feeling pretty dang good about my paper supplies. And like I said, I got two more, these big packs here, Aviva there, another Cottonelle there that I just could not fit into my beautiful wall of paper. There you go. I'm loving the paper wall. All right, are we ready to move on? And again, we're in a garage, so, you know, nothing is like super fancy out here, but here's all of my, uh, you know, complete home. That's pretty much all I buy. I have some leftover, I think maybe hefty back there. But uh, that's my supply there. And then this is just where we keep our pop. And then I've got um, some trash bags here. I think I have four or five packs of trash bags here. So that is where I keep that stuff. All right. We are now in the basement, the carpeted version versus the cement version that you saw at the beginning of the video. And I have... Some of these, which I will go through with you, that house is part of my stockpile. So let me give you a shot 
Are you ready? Here we go. This is all of my personal care. Well, not all of it. I had to order a dang third shelf. OMG. There it is over there, and you're going to have to excuse that mess right there. That's stuff I'm getting ready to donate, and a lot of this will go to donate as well. So these are my beautiful shelves of personal care that I will go through with you. All right, so we saw the laundry, we saw the oral care, and the paper products. Um, if you saw my first stockpile tour, you know that I sat in that stockpile tour. I really wanted to get um, clip, um, clipboards, not clipboards, pegboards. And I just didn't have like the wall space. I didn't want to hang them on the walls. Well, I saw, I think it was on Shop with Sarah. She was doing like a garage sale selling some of her stockpile. And she had pegboards zip tied to her shelves and I thought that was an awesome idea. So that's what I did. So this pegboard here houses my women's disposable razors. And you can see it is absolutely craziness how many <laughs> women's disposable razors I have. I do have right over here is the Venus non-disposable. One little rack I showed you. I have the um, regular razors in my cabinets in the back room. So these are all my dang skintimates and some of the Venus skintimate is what I have definitely the most stuck in. So if we take a look at this shelf, this one has all of my feminine care on the top shelf, my deodorant, and then some like hair treatment stuff. So I tried to organize it by like sizes of feminine care. <laughs> I don't know. I think I did a decent job of it. And then those are like the little panty liners up there. But that's all what the top shelf is. This shelf is all deodorant. You can see how far it goes back. So I've got all my men's deodorant. I tried to, to group them by um, brand, I guess, of deodorant. Look at all that ding dove. Just got all that a couple weeks ago from the Walgreens with the awesome Ibotta rebates. And then my women's deodorant. I have way more men, it looks like, than I have women's. But there is my women's deodorant there grouped by uh, brand name again. And then these are my hair treatments here. Um, you know, like your leave-in conditioners and things like that. And then up here, I've got like some dry shampoo and some hairspray and stuff like that. Some more down here, dry shampoo, hairspray, things like that for stylers. And then my shampoo, and I have that all grouped. I have one, like two little lonely rows of uh, men's shampoo. And Donna left her little, she wanted her little friend to be <laughs> in the stockpile tour. So there it is. So I've got all my L'Oreal up here, and then down here is all of my Tresemme, and my Dove, and my Head and Shoulders, and my Whole Blend starts there. Then it comes down to the bottom shelf, and on the bottom shelf I've got some Herbal Essence, some Aussie, some Pantene, some Fructis, and Suave. This whole bottom shelf is going to be donate. Again, I told you in the intro, I coupon specifically for items to donate that I know the shelter that I like to donate to is looking for. So that is almost, not quite, but almost all of my hair care, but that is all of my deodorant and all of my feminine care. Over here, I have another pegboard and that houses all of the men's disposable razors and then all of the men's non-disposable razors right here. You can see I have room on this one. Maybe I should move the women's non-disposable razors out here. I love the pegboards because I can see what I have. So I know if I'm getting low on anything, I have one little lonely shelf of razor refills or one little um, peg of razor refills. All the rest are razors. I need to stock up more on refills instead of just continually going through the razors. All right, and then this shelf here 
this house is. Uh, I've got some Summer's Eve up there, and then the Renews It Cones, the Febreze Fabric Spray, the Febreze uh, Air, and then my candles, my Glade candles that I love. And you can see that goes back pretty far. I don't know how many back, maybe like 10 or something like that. That's way on the top shelf. I had to get on a chair <laughs> to get stuff up there. Then I've got my body wash, the women's, and then the men's, and then some leftover that I couldn't fit. My bar soap with some more suave body wash. My lotion, and then there's some mismatched things down there. So I've got all my Olay, and I have one little lonely row that just has a couple. Those go, I don't know, pretty far back. That's how many I have in each row. I've got my Dove, my Nivea. I don't have very much Nivea in my stock. There is the soft soap body wash that I have. And then this starts the dial. And then the dial carries over down here. A couple of ivory body wash and then I just have like three Irish spring back there then I've got some men's body wash so I've got the Nivea in the back behind that this is all Nivea and then a row and a few more of the Axe two rows of the Dove men's body wash and then three rows of the Old Spice body wash and then down here is all my Suave body wash this is all going to be donated as well and then I have a couple of bins, like this bin right here has like all my travel and trial size shampoos, deodorants, lotions, all of that good stuff. Back here, I've got all of my bath poofs. Those are all CVS. And then all of my bar soap supply, which has grown significantly from my first stockpile tour. And here I've got uh, cotton balls and cotton rounds and things like that. And then... um some hand soap. And then I've got the little Physician's Formula um, sanitizer spray. So that's what I have of hand soap. Not super big, but I have a lot more bar soap. And then on the bottom shelf, we have all of our lotion. I tried to group this by um, brand as well. So I've got all the Nivea, the Vaseline, one lonely little St. Ives way in the back. And then it is uh, Vaseline in front of that. And then I've got two of these Cetaphil. Then back there, I've got some Curel and a couple of Lubriderm. And then some Jergens. The Jergens Skin Firming is my favorite. I have one left. OMG. And then these, it's not very, this is probably my least organized. Because um, we just got a whole bunch of Gold Bond from Walgreens. And so I haven't really organized that. So it's all kind of up front. And back here is all of my body wash, couple of eucerins back there. I've got some hand sanitizer here. And then back here, I've got my CVS cotton swabs, the refills, and um, the packages. And then I have another pegboard over here. And this is basically all my small spaces and oil refills and oil starter kits. So that's what is right there. This I saw on Ohio Valley Couponery had a little cart like this. Before I ever even got these shelves, I got this cart just so I could put like this kind of stuff here. So this little cart basically has all of my, oh, Tom just made his way down here. There's Tom. If you guys like cats, black cats are my absolute favorite. That's my Tom. Hi, Tom. Um, so this one has the, like, all of, like, the heartburn and, you know, that kind of medicine. And then here I've got my little stock of Zycam, which we recently got those from CVS. Such an awesome deal. And just some other things in there. These are from CVS. The little, they're in the baby section. I had CRTs, so why not? And then down here, I've got basically like all my pain relievers. Just a ton of Aleve. I actually have some Aleve over there on the bags to donate. 
some Tylenol, some Advil, a couple of St. Joe's back here. I've got like all of my um, patches. Maybe that's easier to see. Like all of the, um, I don't know, heat patches that we get. Down here, I've got basically like all of my band-aids right here, this wound wash. And then over here, all of my dang eye drops. I have just a ton, <laughs> a ton of eye drops. I have some eye drops in my donate a bag as well. Down here, I've got some of those nares. That was a swag bucks deal from a while ago. And then my stock of batteries. So loving having a stock of batteries. I want it to be bigger. I only have one package of the nine volt, one package of the D's and one package of the C's. The rest of these are double A's and triple A's, which I know those are the ones we use the most. And I just have a, you know, 100% acetone nail polish remover there because I couldn't figure out where else to put it. Over here, I have some facial care. So all my L'Oreal is up there. And um, all of my white, well, not all of my wipes, but some of my facial wipes are here as well. I will definitely be donating some of those. I actually have another cabinet over here that actually has some more. My Viv organized that. <laughs> she put, look, isn't that cute how she put the Shea Moisture in there? There's the rest of my facial wipes down there, and then I guess a little remedies is there, um, which actually I'll move this right over to the baby stuff. And then let's go take a look at my third and final shelf here. Let me move this rocking chair out of the way. So this is my third shelf. And basically this has all my baby stuff that I'm stocking up on, on the top shelf. And then my facial cleansers and moisturizers. And then my like good hair care stuff. And then just some miscellaneous stuff on the rest of them. I have some room actually on these ones. So I've got all my diapers up here. Basically anything baby I put up here, my Gold Bond baby powder, I got a couple of the Gerbers, the, the fruit infused water, and then just put the little remedies there. Here's my facial care, my Cetaphil, my Garnier. Here's my Pons and St. Ives, and then a couple of cleansers from CBS. My row of Aveeno, that's probably my, well, I actually have two rows, that's probably my girl's favorite facial cleanser. So, so happy we stocked up on that at Walgreens a while ago. A little bit of Neutrogena. One lonely thing of CeraVe. I did have two, but my oldest daughter took one because she wanted to try it. She said she really likes it. A couple of the Biore. She took one of those too. It's funny. She calls this a store, which it does kind of look like a store. <laughs> a couple of clean and clears and some Neutrogena bars back there. Here's all of my Nexus. I've got all my shampoos and all my stylers and mousses there. A little bit of stock in Love Beauty Planets. Then I've got some OGX here. A lot of you asked me what I use in my hair. This OGX Coconut Curl Shampoo Conditioner. It's my favorite. So that is what I have been using in my hair and a curl cream by them. And I don't have any more, so I'm going to have to get some more curl cream. A little bit of Aveeno. I just didn't have any place to put that, so that's sitting there. Then I've got some bags from CVS, from the beauty bags. This just has some miscellaneous things in it, like some masks, some eye brushes, nail files, some of the um, mini um, from CVS, bath poofs, some hair things. So this just has a whole bunch of random stuff in it. Back here, I've got um, some hair stuff, some makeup brushes, some real technique sponges. Here's all my nail polish, which a lot of that is uh, paparazzi. Here's my supply of King C. I've got a bunch of the trimmers, some beard wash, things like that. Um, my mini heating pad I recently got from CVS. These are a couple of the Hallmark boxes that I got from CVS. Down on the bottom... I've got my take-alongs. Those were a recent purchase from Dollar General. Oh, I have another Airwick Essential Mist. I should put the other one with it. 
And then recently got these um, from CVS and I just didn't have room over there to put them. So I put them there. And then one more pegboard. And this one houses all of my toothbrushes here. I have them um, separated by Oral-B and Colgate. But I got all my toothbrushes, my battery-operated toothbrushes, my floss, some Listerine Ready tabs over there, some floss picks, and then it starts with my Colgate toothbrushes. Funny, I have more Colgate toothpaste, but way more Oral-B toothbrushes. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it does. And then lastly, I will just show you my bins over here. So these two are all makeup, OMG. Whenever schools like fully open back up, I definitely plan on donating some makeup to the drama departments. I've heard that's a really great place. But basically I separated all of this. These are all eyebrow pencils and eyeliners in this drawer. This is all face products like concealers um, and foundation down here. This is all kiss balms and baby lips, mostly kiss balms. Over here, all eyeshadow or eyeshadow primer. Here is all lip products. And here is all like face products like blushes and highlighters and primers and things like that. My mascara is absolutely insane and out of control. My daughter comes over shopping often for makeup. So I had to put two bins just for mascara. Oh my gosh. Um, this one right here, the, just, the top shelf is just like my coupons and stuff I put in here that I haven't clipped. This is my favoriteest drawer, OMG. This is my Hallmark drawer. Basically, all of this came um, from CVS. A few of the cards came from like Walmart when they gave us the deals, but I've got all these cards here. These are actual bags here, and then these little bags that we got, and I've got all this tissue paper. So excited, a couple of things of tape some bows, some ribbons. I love those dang Hallmark CRTs, LMG. Um, not really much down here. I've got some of the Bic lighters and some gum. Over here, I've got some school supplies, pens, paper, more school supplies, paper, some clearance finds from Walgreens. And this one's going to be super hard to open. Oh, no, it wasn't. And then more pens, more school supplies. I love that. If my girls need something, they don't have to go to the store. Oh, this one doesn't close easy. That's fine. So there you go. That is my complete stockpile tour. I'll give you another look from far back. That is everything. Super duper excited to share this with you all. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was super long. I got a lot of stuff. Like I said, I will be donating. That's all getting ready to donate. You already saw all my bags of poise. Um, so we're going to clear some of these shelves out. And then I can start fresh or cue running for more stuff to donate. Because there are always people in need. And I love to be able to do that. All right. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate you. And obviously, I would love to hear any comments you have down in the comment section. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'm going to see you again soon. Bye!